Friends of the Everglades was actually founded by Marjorie Stoneman Douglas in 1969. And Marjorie really is who helped establish what the real idea of the Everglades is today. Well, what I've done is to be part of the work to restore the Everglades and keep them up. So it's more than writing, it's been a life work, really. I had no idea when I wrote the Everglades that I'd still, in another 40 years, be working in the Everglades still for its restoration and maintenance. It was 1947 when she published her seminal book, The Everglades River of Brass. And it was through her prose that she really helped to develop this kind of public shift in perception of what the Everglades was from this vast swampy wasteland to national treasure. It was a region that was meant to be preserved rather than just drained and conquered for the sake of progress. I came to Florida and here was a new country. Nobody had written very much about it when I came down in 1915 and I really discovered the Everglades. So I discovered a piece of geography for myself. You think how lucky I was to have found it. Preservation of the Everglades is incredibly important. It's something that Marjorie helped us understand. You know, she saw something in the Everglades that had not previously been seen. Like I said, she helped to change that public perception from something that was just sort of in the way to something that should be treasured and protected. There's a quote that we often lean on in the environmental world and certainly here at Friends of the Everglades that she said, and it was, be a nuisance where it counts. And that quote of hers really speaks to the idea that no matter what we're facing, we just can't give up. Marjorie recognized more than anybody that the real power was in the people that were driving the mission.